Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. If you're a newcomer to my channel, my name's Mark, welcome to the channel. If you're a long time viewer, thank you for your continuing support, I really appreciate it. Do you like bean sprouts in your food? I hope so. Uh, do you buy your bean sprouts from the supermarket in those little bags? Or do you buy them from Asian food stores? If so, this is the video that you want to be watching because I'm going to show you how to grow your own bean sprouts from scratch. Not only will they taste 100% better than the ones that you buy, but they'll also be much, much cheaper. In fact, I'm going to show you how to grow your own fresh, tasty bean sprouts at almost no cost. I've been growing my own bean sprouts for maybe eight years and they're pretty much constantly all year round on the go. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Here we are, folks. These are the only things that you need to grow your own fresh, delicious, dirt cheap bean sprouts. First of all, you need two plastic containers. And what you want to do is you want to take one of these pots and just put some holes in the bottom. Just put one inside the other. Really, really simple. Of course, the other thing that you're going to need is mung beans. I buy these, as you can see, organic mung beans, one kilo. I get mine from buywholefoodsonline.co.uk. Not being paid, not being sponsored to advertise them, but this is a company that I use. The other thing you're going to need is some kitchen paper or kitchen towel, whatever you call it. And that, apart from water, is all you need. Now, obviously, if you're using these things, mushroom containers, You've already paid for them, you've already eaten the mushrooms, so they're not costing you anything. The first thing you want to do is take your container that doesn't have holes and just measure out some mung beans. What you want to do is you want to have enough mung beans so they pretty much cover the bottom of the container. Now, once you've measured out your mung beans and you're happy with the amount, what you want to then do is put them into some kind of container and fill that container with water. And you simply want to let these stand for maybe 10 to 12 hours. So once your mung beans have been sitting for 10 to 12 hours in the water or overnight, whichever one, what you then want to do is drain the water from the mung beans. And then you want to line the plastic container with the holes in the bottom and then simply pour your mung beans into the, the container. Spread the beans out to cover the bottom. Once you've got the mung beans in the container and they're nicely evenly spread, you simply want to just drip some water onto the kitchen paper so the kitchen paper is wet. But once you've got your mung beans sitting on the damp kitchen towel, you want to then take another two sheets of kitchen towel, wet that, make it nice and moist, and then you want to just push it down into the container on top of the mung beans. Then you take the second container without the holes, put the top one in, and then you simply have to transfer this to somewhere that's, that's just dark, and fairly warm. It has to be a dark place because the darkness will actually encourage the mung beans, which is essentially a seed, to sprout and grow. So I grow my mung beans in my Staples food cupboard, as you can see. Just place your, your mung bean container into a nice dark cupboard. The important thing is then you need to water your beans. What you want to do is twice a day, morning and late afternoon or evening take your mung beans out of the cupboard and just make sure that the kitchen paper on top of the mung beans is damp and moist just keep it nice and moist pop it back in the dark cupboard and after a couple of days you'll start to see the beans will start to sprout and grow so here we are the bean sprouts have been in the dark cupboard for four days it's been fairly warm so they've grown rapidly they've been kept moist twice a day with a little sprinkle of water and they are now ready as you can see, beautiful, fresh, healthy bean sprouts. All you've got to do, take a pair of scissors and cut them away from the kitchen paper and they will be ready to cook in your food. There you go, folks. That's the finished bean sprouts. Perfectly beautiful bean sprouts. You can put these in the fridge in a plastic container or plastic bag. They'll stay fresh for four or five days. As you can see, I've got a big mound of bean sprouts here. Absolutely amazing super crunchy, super tasty. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see how few mung beans you need to make a great big pile of bean sprouts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please come over and join me on Instagram. My Instagram account is veganmark underscore 01. 
because I'm trying to build a little community where we can all communicate and, and share ideas and opinions and where you can DM me for video ideas. So come and join me there. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please stay safe and healthy and I'll see you all again in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.